I'll explain here how to process a wide-angle composite sequence from a solar eclipse using Photoshop. Make sure you shoot in RAW. I set the remote intervalometer to shoot a frame every minute during the partial phases. You can then select an interval from this group. To photograph a wide-angle solar eclipse sequence, determine where the sun and the moon will be in the sky and how that fits into the field of view of your wide-angle lens. Pick a good foreground subject or landscape. You will not be able to move the tripod camera setup until the end of the eclipse. Use a solar filter for the partial phases, remove the filter during totality, then replace the filter for the second set of partial phases. See the video link for a presentation on photographing a total solar eclipse. I set my remote controller intervalometer to take a photo every minute. Then I can pick an interval that looks good from that set of images. The partial phase frames will show just the sun against a black background. I usually pick a frame taken every five minutes from the set. In this example from the 2019 eclipse seen from Chile, I chose 13 frames before totality and 10 frames after totality. From our vantage point, the sun set behind a hill partially eclipsed. Select the best frame that shows totality and process that image so the foreground looks good best to leave the sky slightly dark. Save that processed image as a TIFF. Put the totality frame and the selected partial frames in a new folder. Check to see that all the partial eclipse frames you select are the same brightness. Adjust as needed. In Photoshop, go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. Browse for the new folder and select the files. Once you have all your files in the window, click OK. If the files are big, this stack could take a while to load. You will see each file appear as a layer in the Layers window. When all files are loaded, select all of them by selecting the top one and scroll to the bottom. Hold the Shift key and click on the bottom one. All the layers should be highlighted. In the Blend menu, Choose the pull-down menu and select Lighten. All the partially eclipsed suns and the foreground with totality should be seen now. I recommend saving this as a TIFF file. It will be huge, but you can go back to make any adjustments to each layer in the future. When you're satisfied with the picture, go to Layer, Flatten Image. This will flatten or combine all the layers into one file, so you have a much smaller file. Now you can make uh, any of the usual adjustments uh, that you make to the picture. Then this finished file can be saved as a TIFF or it can be resized and saved as a JPEG.